What's up, it's John, aka Operation iDroid, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about GC for iOS, a GameCube emulator for your iOS device, and Play, a PS2 emulator for your iOS device. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you'll probably remember these two emulators because I made videos on them over two years ago. And when I made those videos, GC for iOS and Play were just starting to be developed. And because of that, they ran really slow. They were practically unplayable, but just to be able to see GameCube games and PS2 games running on an iPhone was awesome. Seeing that gave me, and I'm guessing a lot of you guys, hope and excitement for the future of these two emulators. But now, over two years later, no progress has been made towards the development of these two emulators, which it's super sad because who knows where these emulators could be with two years of development and newer devices like the iPhone XS and the iPad Pro that are super fast. I remember messaging the developer of GC for iOS over two years ago, and he said that he was very excited for the future of GC for iOS because he felt like in a year with newer devices that GC for iOS could run at full speed, which was super exciting. But as we know now, that's not the case and it just sucks. I know that people have lives and I'm sure the developer has gone on to work on other things and doesn't have the time to work on GC for iOS, but just imagine for a second, full speed GameCube games on your iPhone. That would just be awesome. And maybe there is hope for the future. It is open source. Maybe someone else will pick up the project where he left off and continue to work on GameCube games on iPhone because I'm sure it can be done, but someone has to do it. And the same thing goes for Play. Play is actually a PS2 emulator, not only for iOS, but for Mac. Windows and Android and development for those other softwares has continued, but for iOS, it just kind of stopped abruptly two years ago. So who knows if they'll ever pick it back up again and work on the iOS side some more. But for now, we're kind of just left with out anything, just wondering whatever's gonna happen to GameCube or PS2 games on iPhone. But as of now, trying to use GC for iOS or Play just isn't worth the time in my opinion. As you can see by the footage that I've shown, they just run horribly slow and it's not even worth the time downloading GameCube or PS2 games that are very big and take a while to download, transferring them into your iOS device using a computer and then sitting down and waiting through cutscenes that run at such slow speeds that it'll drive you crazy. So in my opinion, it's just not worth it, but that is an update on GC for iOS and Play. I promised one over two years ago, but I never did it because they were never updated. But here's an update telling you that these emulators are probably not going to be developed for a pretty long time unless someone else decides to pick them up and start working on them again. However, there is still a lot of other awesome consoles and emulators that you can play on your iOS device. Just check out my channel. There's Game Boy, there's PlayStation, one, there's Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, all of these awesome classic and retro consoles that you can play on your iPhone thanks to other awesome developers. So if you wanna learn how to get those, then just visit my channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I'm always making videos on awesome emulators on iOS and I make videos every Saturday, so you won't want to miss any of those. If you enjoyed this video, this discussion on GC for iOS and Play, then please hit that like button. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comment section below, I'd be happy to answer them. If you haven't followed me on Instagram or Twitter, and you have one of those, I highly recommend that you follow me just to stay up to date with what's going on with my channel. And with all of that being said, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.